Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully able to insert our block data, right? So before edit this block data, I want to do, I want to discuss about uh, that is a block category. So here you can see friend, it's now display as a block category ID. If you go to our database, into this database, you can see in our block category ID is inserted, that is ID. So that is the three ID. If you go to our category, that is a block category into this block category. That is on the ID as a three ID. I want to do, I want to create one of the relationship. I want to create that relationship. Our block table block category ID will be match with our block category stable ID. Okay. Here I want to create one of the relationship between both of this table. How can do this work? For doing this, we have to do uh, here, um, if you go to our model, into this model, if you go to our block model, here we have to work. I want to do and to create another new function. I show you everything will be more clear. Simply, I create one of the new function. I name it as a public. Okay, that will be as a public and then the function. Okay, so then that the function and into this function, whatever the name actually choose right now, I name it as a category. Okay, category. I created this type of one of the function. So that will be as a category. Great. So now from to this position, we have to do, we have to return. So I simply return it, return. And with this, I want to do onto access. That is our category. And that is our block table, right? So this block table will be belongs to. So there is another default function as a belong, belongs, okay, belongs to to so that was a belongs to function so with this function it should be belongs to in our which table it should be belongs to our block table and that will be belongs to our block category table so here i have already created another model right i have already created another model for the block category you can see that is our model so now we have to do have to add this model i simply that will be belongs to our block category model okay that means in our block category table so here that will be as a class okay that will be as a class and into this position i want to do in our block table into this block table our field name as a block category underscore id i name it as a blog the blog underscore category underscore id right that is a block category id in our block table one of the field as a block category id in our block table that is one of the field as a block category id so that will be belongs to our categories that is a block categories table that is the id right so now i want to do i have already added that belongs that is our it will be belongs to our block category table so in our block table block category id field will be match okay here it will be i match with our block category table or another field as a id I hope friend is very much clear to you. So that's all you have to do in here. Okay. So now our here, I have already done it in our block table, our block table field name as a block category ID. It should be match with our block table. That is our block category table ID. Okay. Now by this method, we actually executed that functionality in our blocks table, block category ID, that ID will be match in our block table. There is a block category table. That is the ID okay so here i simply match it that means i have created one of the relationship between both of this table and i just name that function name as a category so now with this function we are able to access our block category table field data i show you like before i executed only that id right now i want to do and to display it like if you go to our block all into this block all you can see before i simply loaded our block category id so now here i want to do and to change it so now that will be with our item with this item we have to access our our function name that i have created our function name as a category so now i simply first of all load this function and with this function i have already created that relationship with our block category table right so now i want to do that is our id okay that is our id and then i want to access our which field i want to access which field i want to access if you go i want to display our block category right so now that is the block category that i want to visible so that will be as a blog underscore category now our category data will be displayed that means name will be displayed not that id if you know click as a save all if everything okay if our um, relationship is successfully done now that should be display our category block category name now let's check this out so that is a block category name should be display if you now refresh it 
Mm, you can see now it's not display that ID now it's display as a Facebook and that is our react that means our relationship between both of this table is now successfully created now if you want to add another data so I click as a add and I just simply make it as a right now view JS I make some of the name as a view okay view JS so that will be our title I simply loaded this type of one of the title and I make it as a view JS okay I make it as a view JS so that will be our block tag and you can also add that multiple one or title that means our description I want to use some of the description and I choose one of the another image okay I choose um, like this one and you choose this one image now click as the insert block data yes you can see it's now successfully blog inserted successful and you can see it's now display our category name as a block view JS okay everything worked perfectly perfect how can create that relationship between both of this table in laravel i hope friend now it's very much clear to you so in our next video i want to do and to um, edit it and then i will delete it okay so how can edit and update your blog content in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video